And today, guys, I'm here to another anime review. And the anime review is two Blue Exorcist Season 2, Episode 6, guys. So let's get into it. So, guys, in this episode of Blue Exorcist, well, first thing it follows is that in, Blue, in this episode, uh, Blue, uh, we find out more information of how, um, Ren's father, if I remember correct his name, Fujimoto, yeah, Fujimoto, yeah, Fujimoto, and how Bond's father knew each other, and how he came to get to, to get the Kama Sword. The reason why he was able to get the Kama, first up, we found out more, also more history about the Kama Sword. Um, like, we already knew about the origin that it originally belonged to, um, um, uh, to Bond's family, where he knew it belonged to the Fujiro, we already, uh, we already know it belonged to Bond's family, especially for generations, because of, but, and it also, we also know as the, not as the Komosol, but as the Kunikana. It was known as the Kunikana back then, which we also knew from um, season one, or that's what it was called. So, another plot, plot point that season one did tell us about that was actually gonna, was gonna be in the series, but, um, there was not enough time to create it, so of course the anime had to go on the original time. But pretty much, there was here's another fact point, big point, uh, big plot point about the about the sword that um that the uh, season one did reveal that it was called the Kunikana. Now we, but we did not know what the Kunikana was, and we didn't know what the sword was originally for. And the reason the sword the sword was a religious, we already knew it was gonna be new to as a praying item. We all knew they prayed to it, but Bond's family prayed um, the sword because he found out this sword, this relic, originally hold by a, a familiar. I take it it's more of a familiar than a demon. They don't get they use demons as familiars, but this familiar was a very powerful one called Kunai. Kunai? Like a flame phoenix spirit, pretty much. That's what this, um, familiar was. And it was the reason why the Imperial King was, um, defeated to a degree. Because actually, we also found out that the power, the, we thought, we found out that the, what, the secret behind secrets, pretty much, the, um, the secret that is behind the main secret of the family is that only the leader, the head of the family actually knows, which we, which surprised me, um, that we found the, the fact, the head of the family only, know, only knows this, is because the Imkukum was actually never defeated, he was sealed away, like, he was not defeated, like I said, he was sealed away, so in a way they defeated him, but not completely, they sealed him away, so that's the reason why secrets and secrets, because they kept the secret by, keeping another secret about the family and pretty much and part of the reason and part of the uh, kunai the kunai's power about this familiar power is that you need to keep a secret within secrets this is how its power it comes up around and forms hat so you need and so to gain power you need to keep secrets between secrets now we found out that also Snake Girl, Snake Girl, uh, Fumichiri, Fumichiri, uh, uh, I'm not very good at names, you guys should know by now. Um, we found out, yes, she was deceived by, um, by fucking Toto. Fucking Toto, like, I'm starting to believe that he must be a demon, not just by possession, but somewhere in his heart he's complete demon. But, yeah, she betrayed. She, he betrayed her, and yeah, we all know what happened. Um, if you watched the episode, but pretty much, I've got to say this. Bond, he is a complete idiot. If he does not notice what his father's been doing all this time, because his father, you gotta give him respect, because what he's been doing all this time, he's been protecting everyone and keeping this secret. To make sure no one else can burden it, and I just gotta tell you this: he's a badass. Don't think you gotta say he's a badass. He's not a physical badass, but for what he's been doing, he's a badass. I gotta say this: he's a badass at heart. 
and the way he, uh, Prude actually learned from his backstory, and also the letter that he wrote to Rin, um, I'm gonna give him guts for it, like, giving him guts to tell Rin to pretty much use the Koma Sword to exterminate the impure king, giving guts for saying that, because not many people would do that, like, rely on the king, rely on anyone to, even the son of Satan to try to kill, um, the impure king, which, I'm gonna tell you, I respect him, I respect him for doing that, and I'm glad they've done that. But, pretty much, yeah, this episode is pretty much revealing, um, also, no, another thing that's also revealed, um, that, is that the, the, um, Toto, Mr. Toto, he seems like he has an ability to eat other demons and gain their powers. Sorry about my iPad or phone. What? Yeah, it's it. One, two, I think. No, I think it's my iPad. I can't, I don't know. But well, pretty much, we found out he has the ability to eat demons and use their pow- and gain their powers. Oh. Possibly, he's the, possibly the demon itself has that ability, or he actually had that ability to begin with, and he was trying to try and betray the order, not because he was possessed by a demon, it's because he was planning, he was that cruel hearty, he wanted to plot revenge. So he must have swallowed the demon who originally had it before. He, he still, I think he still has it inside of him. But pretty much, he swallowed a demon and he gained powers. And of course, he ended up swallowing the familiar. He ended up swallowing Kuna, the familiar. And we also found out the familiar, the sword itself was empty. It, it was That was the original vessel for Kuna. But we found the vessel itself was actually the master of um, Bond's family. Pretty much the head of the Fujimal family. And, yeah, pretty much we learned that, um, this, that they would, the map, the head of the family would be the best of the kunai. And, of course, we found out his main goal, like, uh, Toga's main goal was trying to gain the power of the kunai. Like, he used the Imperial King to lure, uh, Bodhisattva out. To make him use Kunai and gain his power, Kunai's powers, and that was his main. Well, I don't think it's like his main main goal, but he, that was definitely one of his goals he was aiming to to lure out Bond's father. Now another thing that was again revealed is, like I said from the beginning, um, how Mutarojo was able to get the Kuma Sword, and how Bond, uh, Bond's father uh, learned. To understand and well, came to stay how he is today, and we found out that, out that he found out he finds out that what the before he became the head of the family, he found out the way his family was doing things was not right. Like it was not right because even though Father Fujimori saved, like he saved everyone. Like when he found out they were all sick, we found out he saved them all and. Guess what the head of the family tried to do? Yeah, go and try and, and kill him for saving people's lives with wet methods that were not uh, near or no one at all part of their family's tradition, or even using or actually knowing about their family, like knowing about how the, what their family does. That's what like outside being an outsider, he was going to get executed. But Barnes' father. I realized that I was wrong, so he, uh, he didn't even know who was at the start. He was a nine to give him the Kama Sword. He then stuck up and gave him the Kama Sword to thank him for a bomb and, and to, he understands and believes that the way this family works was wrong. And yeah, that's pretty much what will happen. The animation, I gotta say, oh my god, the secret flames. Oh my god, I look, they actually look very good. Like, they're on par with Ren's flames. They're definitely on par, I think. They're definitely on par. Well, the power level, maybe not. Like, I gotta say, the power level, the flames definitely don't look as strong as the Satan flames. But the overall look of it, it definitely looks good. I really enjoyed how the flame. And I got an eye. Toro, he does look badass. Like, he does look badass. And we found he. he oh, we can't don't forget the. the uh, um, Konoha, the familiar, 
Don't forget, it's also a phoenix. So once he swallowed it, he gained immortality. And also, he purifies it. Also, he, he also what he also does, he also gains uh, youth. He gains youth. He's no longer looking old. He gains youth. He now looks younger. And yeah, and that's pretty much all the episode was. And that's all we got to say. So, yeah, like you get, sorry this was not, you know, this episode was a bit hard for me to understand, but I was able to get gist of it, gist of it, but overall, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Anyway, guys, that's my anime review to Blue Exorcist Season 2, Episode 6. Hope you guys like it, but comment your fans, stay here for you guys, and stuff, I'll go on the down below, my ass just and yeah, hope you guys like it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys!